the blue whale. A name whispered in awe, a titan of the deep, the largest animal ever known to have graced our planet. Imagine, if you will, a creature so vast that a school bus could fit on its tongue, a heart the size of a small car. This is the blue whale, an animal of superlatives, a testament to the sheer power and wonder of the natural world. In this vast, watery cosmos, they are the undisputed sovereigns, their existence a symphony of size and grace. A hundred feet long, two hundred tons in weight, the blue whale's size is almost incomprehensible. Their sleek, streamlined bodies, a mottled tapestry of blues and greys, cut through the water with surprising ease. Their immense mouths, lined with baleen plates instead of teeth, are specially adapted for filtering massive amounts of water, trapping within their fine bristles the tiny creatures that make up their diet. Yet, for all their size, their eyes are surprisingly small, a mere six inches across. A reminder that even giants have their vulnerabilities. Blue whales are nomads, traversing vast distances across the world's oceans. They favour the cold, nutrient-rich waters of the polar regions in the summer, where they feast and fatten up. As the seasons change, they embark on epic migrations, journeys of thousands of miles, towards warmer equatorial waters to breed and give birth. These marine highways, invisible to the human eye, are testament to the ancient rhythms of the sea, a world of constant movement and change. Section 4, Feasting on the Invisible. Despite their immense size, blue whales feed on some of the smallest creatures in the ocean, krill. These gentle giants, the largest animals to have ever lived on Earth, rely on these tiny organisms for their survival. These tiny crustaceans, resembling miniature shrimp, swarm in vast clouds, numbering in the trillions. They form dense patches in the ocean, creating a rich feeding ground for the blue whales. To feed, a blue whale will engulf a mouthful of water, expanding its throat pleats like a giant balloon. This allows it to take in an enormous volume of water and krill in a single gulp. Then, using its powerful tongue, it forces the water out through the baleen plates, trapping the krill inside. The baleen plates act like a sieve, filtering out the water and leaving the nutritious krill behind. This feeding method, known as lunge feeding, is one of the most energy-intensive behaviours in the animal kingdom. It is a testament to the sheer volume of food these giants need to sustain themselves. Each lunge can capture up to 10,000 gallons of water, making it a truly remarkable feat of nature. Section 5. The Music of Giants Blue whales are not solitary creatures. They're often seen in groups forming pods that can consist of a few individuals or even dozens. These gentle giants thrive in the company of their own kind. They communicate with each other across vast distances using a complex language of low frequency sounds, too deep for human ears to hear unaided. These sounds are not just random noises, they are structured and meaningful, forming a sophisticated form of communication. These haunting calls, a rumbling symphony of moans, groans and clicks, can travel for hundreds of miles through the water, allowing whales to stay connected, to find mates and to navigate the vastness of the ocean. Each call carries information about the whale's identity, location and even its emotional state. These underwater serenades are a reminder that we are but visitors in a world much older and vaster than our own. A world of mystery and wonder that we are only beginning to understand. The ocean's depths hold secrets that continue to elude us. And the songs of the blue whales are a testament to the rich, intricate lives that unfold beneath the waves. Section 6. Guardians of the Gentle Giants For centuries, blue whales were hunted relentlessly, their blubber prized for oil, their numbers driven to the brink of extinction. These magnificent creatures, the largest animals to have ever lived on Earth, were nearly wiped out by human greed and ignorance. Today, thanks to international conservation efforts, their populations are slowly recovering. Laws and treaties have been put in place to protect them, and awareness campaigns have educated the public about their plight. But the future of these gentle giants is far from secure. Despite the progress made, they still face numerous challenges that threaten their survival. 
Climate change, pollution and entanglement in fishing gear are just some of the threats they face. The warming oceans affect their food supply while plastic waste in fishing nets pose deadly hazards. It is our responsibility to ensure that future generations will be able to marvel at the sight of these majestic creatures, to witness their grandeur and grace in the wild, to hear their haunting songs echoing through the depths, a symphony of the ocean that connects us to the mysteries of the deep, a testament to the enduring power and beauty of the natural world. Protecting them is not just about saving a species, it's about preserving the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems.